Welcome to the first of the Peter Leone show jumping training video series. Glad you're here. I've got some top young up and rising stars in our sport to go through some exercises that we do to be our best in the show ring. How to develop a show jumper and how to win. Each training video is divided up into three parts. There's some flat work exercises, some gymnastic exercises, and then some show jumping course training exercises. This half circle leg yield back to the track ex exercise is an excellent one. It gets the horse listening to legs, accepting the contact. And that lateral movement, doing the flying change when the rider chooses. Now in its simplest form, it can be done solely at the trot and sit trot. The most advanced version of it is doing it at the canter and completely in the canter. But it's a wonderful exercise to get yours on the leg. And when you combine it with collections, extensions, you're getting the horse listening to legs. You're getting the horse's body soft. When the horse's body is soft and accepting the legs, the mouth is soft. You're going to canter, you're going to transition to the sitting trot, just this side of the grab. You're going to, actually at the center of the grab, you're going to stay straight. You're going to do a medium half circle to the left at the sitting trot. I'm your focal point, and then you're going to do a leg yield back to the track, where you're putting your horse right leg and right rein into your outside leg and rein. And then when you get back to your track, right lead canter, glide away. So what I want to see when you're nowhere near the work area, you know, the, the dressage part, is that you're with the motion and gliding across the field. Time allowed, time allowed. Gliding, gliding, gliding. And then when we get to the part where you connect, put your horse together. So. It's canter, sit trot, good transition to the sit trot. Remember, you know, you guys are all elite equitation riders. Why is form and style so important? It's because good, good form enables good function. If your aids are in the right place, if your hands are here, and your leg is here, your upper body is here, then your aids interact with the horse correctly. How well do your hands interact with the horse if they're up here? Not very well. Or if the leg's back here? Not very well. So position, which you guys are all really good at, good form enables the aids to work effectively on the horse. When you do transitions, remember position. When you know what to do, put your weight in your heels. When you don't know what to do, put your weight in your heels. That is your anchor of safety, but it also is your anchor of impulsion and your anchor of balance. Okay, what else? Um, I have a pet peeve. I do not, I hate the word pull. We're always riding the back of the horse to the front of the horse. When we collect, we ride into the collection. When we do a downward transition, we ride into the downward transition. The hands are a secondary aid, not a primary aid. We don't go around a turn like this. We don't use one aid at a time. You use two legs, two reins, and your core. The core is huge. So here, Kyle's gliding a little bit. Now he gently connects. He gets ready for the collection. 
and the transition to the sitting trot. You want to keep yours perfectly straight, perfectly straight. Heels are down, focal point, eyes, and you come out of the half circle straight towards me. Your horse stays parallel to the rail. As you push the horse over, you feel the right hooves cross over. Now you're pushing them into your left rein and canter. Okay, very good. Next, Sam Walker, superstar Canadian rider on his horse, Gangster. Good transition to the sitting trot. The horse is half circle to the left, come straight towards me, focal point. Keep your horse straight and move them over, 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 and right lead canter. And glide away. Ask that hind end to always be working. Next is Taylor St. Jacques on JOC. And she does her collection. I like that transition to the sitting trot. She kept the hind end of the horse underneath, half circle to the left, come straight towards me. Now move them over, move them over, push them into your left hand, outside shoulder back, and canter depart, and get them up in front of you like you. there's a time allowed. Move. When you get across from me, ride the horse into collection. If you have to do a little half halt for that collection, that's fine. Go down a little further. The perfect half circle to the left. As you come out of the half circle, sitting trot. Now move them over, move them over, move them over into your left hand. And then left leg, outside shoulder, back and canter. Now make him gallop away with connection. Good. Now Sam Walker on his horse Gangster. I'd like to see a little more pace back there before we get to the collection next time. Now we go to the collection, go down a little further before you do your half circle. Half circle to the left. As you come out of the half circle, half halt. Move over, move them over, move them over, move them over, move them over into your left hand and canter and gallop away. Good, now Tanner Karatkin. A little bit of gallop, and now ride your horse into straight collection. Keep the hind end of the horse underneath his belly. Good, don't let him fall behind. And there's your transition, excellent. Push him into your left hand, right leg, right seat bone into outside rein. And canter and let him pop away. Have him jump off your aids. Good. Then when you get right across from me, collection like you're going to go to tall double verticals out in a big grass field. Keep him straight. Keep him straight. Half circle to the left. Don't let him break. Now he didn't leg yield great at the trot, so let's see if he does it better at the canter. The flying change takes place when you choose. All right, we cheated with the diagonal a little bit and gallop away. Good. Good, and now collection on a straight line. Keep the leg, remember he tried to break on us before. Eyes, good, come straight, keep him parallel to the grab, move him over, right leg, right leg. Don't do diagonal, it's a, it's a lateral movement, good. And pop him forward, pop him forward, good. It's just a matter of treating them like athletes and feeding them the extra nutrients they need to continue to perform over several days in a row. They need more protein, more amino acids, when we want them basically to have the same energy 
every single day they show. When you, if you think of your horse when you first get on them, whatever level of jumper they may be, you ever work with modeling clay in our class a million years ago? When you first get the clay, it's kind of hard, and, but by the time you get done working it, it gets soft and warm and pliable. And it's the same thing with the horse. We get that horse listening to legs and they become, you guys are pretty young, you know what a Gumby doll is? Yes. You do! A uh, Gumby doll. That's what we want those orders to be, a Gumby doll. So what it is, I, I, I want you to do a series of small three quarters of a loop into immediately three quarters of a loop the other way, three quarters of a loop the other way, three quarters of a loop the other way. This is all off the inside aids, the inside aids, the inside aids. Then you go right into the outside aids. Same size loops, it can be around jumps in the open field. So then you're doing three quarters of a little loop off the outside aids and then off the outside aids. So that's to keep your eyes up. So she's going to go into a series of small serpentine loops off the inside aids. That's one to the left, that's one to the right. Let's make it even quicker change direction even quicker. Now same thing off the outside aids. Three loops off the outside aids. You got to remember to give and then off the outside aids. Good, good. And then off the outside aids. Now you're going to go canter left uh, when you get over here and then three loops off the inside aids. The smaller you can make the circles, the loops, the better. I mean, I'm sure you've had no choice but to watch Todd, you know, some of the fastest riders. What, what, the reason why they're so fast, they go, shoo, shoo, shoo. They, the horses are on, you know, can turn on a dime. If you can't turn on a dime on the flat, how the hell are you going to do it to a meter sixty vertical? Uh, simple changes, yes, simple changes. Uh, and then she's shifting to the outside aids. Uh, it can be walk or sit trot. I would prefer the sit trot because for me, you know, when a horse falls behind the leg, that's like a vampire seeing a crucifix. It's like, ah, you know, fall, falling behind the leg is, is sacrilege. The seat bones are really, really important. The, the seat bone, the left and the right, go into the diagonal, the pummel of the saddle, and they they can really push the spine of the horse, whether it's off the outside seat bone or off the inside seat bone. Some, uh, some old timer redhead by the name of Rodney Jenkins, uh, he used to talk about using your hips, your right hip and your left hip. And Michael Matz, who my brothers and I also had the good fortune to work with, he talked about seat bones. And Bert DeNemethy talked about seat bones. Good, Sam. Just, and if he's good, then make the circles more f smaller and quicker, quicker changes of direction. Just use your seat bone and, you know, your seat and push his body and push his body and just, you know, bend him, you know, where your hands are secondary, it's your seat that's just pushing him around. Really good, really good. Just push his spine all the way and then push his spine off your right seat bone. That's it. Good. Same thing at the canter. And you know, in some horses, you have to you have to find a an, a blend to the individual personality. You know, now this horse does a lot of really super things. It's a very competitive horse, but accepting the aids as if he's an advanced dressage horse may or may not be his his preferred activity <laughs> good sam good now shift to your outside aids and remember when you're doing this you have to give the horse a place to go meaning you have to be a little soft with your hand you have to be a little soft with your hand so when you're asking the horse to do something that he may or may not understand you have to give them their, their head and neck. 
Good, left seat bone, left leg, left indirect rein. Good, and walk, good, that's the idea. Do this at the sitting trot, Taylor. You know, really sit, sit the horse and push him around, push his spine around, push his body around. Now it's hard for a small human like that to, to, to push a 1,200 pound animal around. But, you know, talent like that can do it. Really good, really good. Yeah, that's it. Feel those, the outside hind hoof cross over the inside. Now, whenever you like, you segue into your canter work. You know, you're always thinking of what are the hind feet doing? Where are the hind quarters of the horse? Really good. Yeah, that's it. And your downward transition has a little bit of a half halt in it. It's legs and sit against. Legs and sit against. Try not to let them come to the halt or the walk. Uh, Mr. Tanner. Really good. When your horse is listening to legs, accepting the aids, then you, have, you can do anything. <laughs>